we are going to discuss today is if we are given a number n we need to find out the next smallest palindrome number okay so if the number is 24 the next smallest palindrome number is 33 if the input number is 33 the next smallest palindrome number is 44 a palindrome number is one which when looked aside from the center looks similar so if we look in this direction and this direction from the center the numbers look similar if the number is of odd digit this is not a palindrome because this zero in this center when we look aside from the center the two numbers do not look similar there is one on the left and zero on the right so this is not a palindrome while this number is a palindrome because when we look aside from the center the numbers look similar okay so now we need to find out the next smallest palindrome when we are given an input x okay let's look at few examples to start with in the case of 24 we can start by reversing the right side of the number or left side of the number if we reverse the left side of the number and replace the right part with the reverse of left we get a palindrome in this case the palindrome will be 22 if we do the similar operation from right to left that is the, that is we reverse the right side of the number and replace the left part with the right number we get 44 both of the answers are not right okay but we'll be taking the approach of reversing the left side of the number and replacing the right part with it the reason for not taking the other approach that is reversing the right side of the number and replacing the left part with it is because it is heavily dependent on the units digit if this number here is very large then this number the first number in the the first digit in the number then the overall number becomes very big and if this digit is very small the overall number tends to become very small so i'll give you another example if we have something like 2 4 5 6 and we try to reverse the right part and replace the left part with the reverse of right part we get 65 56 we see that 65 56 is very huge number than 24 56 just because we are too dependent on this unit digit the good part of reversing the left part and replacing right side with it is the half the first half of the number continues to remain same so we end up with a number which is very close to the original number okay and which also is a palindrome let's look at a simple case had this number been 24 32 as input reversing the left part and re replacing the right side with the reverse of left part we get 24 42 which is greater than the original number and this is the answer so if we reverse the left part and replace the right part with the reverse of left part and if the entire number is greater than the original number then that is the answer but there can be scenario wherein the input is 24 56 and following similar operation we again get 24 42 which is not the right answer in this scenario we need to modify our left part okay we start we start from the center of the number and start going in the outwards direction so we first increase this number number 4 by 1 and make the left part as 25 and then we reverse this left part to form the right part which is 52 now this 2552 is larger than 2456 and thus this is the answer okay now these are the cases wherein we do not have a center by that i mean the number of digits in the number is even in case the number of digit is odd how do we solve that let's say again the number is 24 7 56 in this case also this is the left part this is the right part and this is center okay so if we reverse the left part and replace the right part with the reverse of left part we get a number like 24 7 42 which again is smaller than the original number 
In this case, since we now have a center, we can take the privilege of increasing the center by 1. So we'll add a 1 here, we get 8, this remains 24 and this becomes 42. Now this number here is the next smallest palindrome. The reason why we took center and not this number that is the units digit of the left part is because center tends to increase number by lesser value than this number here. The more we go in this direction, the better are our chances of the number, the new number being closer to the original number. Okay, this is the reason why we took center uh, for increment. Let's take another example. In this case, if what happens if the numbers look like 24, 9, 56 again, if we do a natural operation of reversing this number and replacing it here we get 24 9 42 which is smaller than the original number the other problem here is that if we increase this center by 1 we get a 0 so in this case in this case when we get a 0 we mark our center as 0 and then we increase the left part by 1 this one is a carry that we are getting from the center. So if I write number here again 956 we increase it by 1 we get a 0 and a 1 carry carries over here. This becomes 25. Now our left is 25 and the reverse of left is 52. So the next palindrome number is 25052 in case the input is 24956. Okay let's take it take a look at another scenario within let's say the number is 99 we know that the next palindrome number is 101 what if the number is 999 we know that the next palindrome number is 1001 what if the number is 9999 we know that the next palindrome number is this one so in case wherein the entire left section is made up of only nines we have one at a prefix number of digits minus one zeros and one at suffix so in this case the number of digits are four so we have three zeros one here at the prefix and one here at the suffix so this is the answer in case the entire nine entire left part is covered by nine okay so these were a few cases uh, that would have helped you in understanding the intuition behind solving this problem. One is when the number of digit is odd or even. Second is when left is all nine. Okay, so in this part of the video, we developed intuition for solving the problem. In the next part of the video, we'll look at the code and pseudocode for solving the problem.